In today's video, I'm gonna show you guys how you can use this right here. This is the Blue Yeti, this is the Blackout Edition, but I'm gonna show you how you can use this with your iPhone. That's today's tech video. Before we begin, do me a favor and hit that subscribe button and turn on your bell notifications so you can get notified for future videos. I'd love to have you back in the next one. Well, hey guys, Juan here. Thanks for stopping by my channel and checking out this video. So maybe you're in a situation where you're wanting to do a little bit of podcasting or recording any type of vocals using the Blue Yeti microphone. And it's super easy to use. This microphone is so versatile. I love it and I've been using it uh, pretty much on a weekly basis, especially here. I'm in a church right now and uh, we're doing live streaming at a church because at this point in time of life, uh, things are a little bit weird and we don't have church services. So we're doing a lot of online uh, streaming. But one of the things I have been doing to do to capture some audio, some really good audio, is I've been parking my Blue Yeti right here in front of our pastor who would be preaching and picking up some of his vocal. Now, the good thing about the Blue Yeti is you don't need a whole lot of components to get it running whenever you are recording to an iPhone. So I'm gonna show you guys what you need, what cables you need, and what you have to do to get this all working and looking good. Um, also, I'll have uh, links in the description down below of the cables that you need and if you're looking to get a Blue Yeti. So let's go ahead and dive into that. Okay, so right here is the blackout edition of the Blue Yeti. And what I have connected to it right now is kind of a longer micro USB cable. On the bottom side of these things is where you plug in your micro USB cable here. There's a spot for a headphone jack, but I'm not listening to it, so I don't need that. But all you do is you plug in your micro USB cord, and I think I bought like a 10-foot cable here, so that's why it's so long. That way I can have some good distance. And then there's this Apple adapter right here that you need to plug into your iPhone. So this iPhone here is the iPhone 11 Pro. Um, it does have the lightning port hook up there. Just about all your newer iPhones have that. So you need that adapter in order for this to work. Now, a lot of times whenever you're using your Blue Yeti, you have to have a power source that goes to it like a computer. But doing it in this fashion, you don't have to. It gets its power from the iPhone. So that's what makes it real slick and using this type of setup. But all you do is once you get power and you turn on your, your iPhone uh, so that it's on, it's not in sleep mode, that's what puts power to your Blue Yeti. And as you can see right now, it's blinking because it's in mute. And then when you click on that, it's off of mute and it's ready to record. And so you can record here a video. So I'll go ahead and just do a little test so that way you guys can see what it sounds like. Okay, so this is the Blue Yeti that we are recording vocals with. This is what it sounds like. I'm standing directly in front of it and just recording to the iPhone. Okay, so really that's all you need to get set up to get some really good crisp, clear audio in your video setup that you're doing and no matter whether you're doing podcasting, video setup like this, but to get some really good audio, this is a simple way to use your Blue Yeti with your iPhone. So hopefully this video was real helpful to you. If it was, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Go ahead and subscribe to my channel. I make tech videos all the time and I'd love to have you back in the next one. So thanks for watching this guys. Until then, get out there, be safe and be creative.